Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial today and today we'll be checking out the NFT marketplace solution that will convert your Bagisto store into an NFT marketplace website. Can you know that you should have downloaded the MetaMask Chrome extension and connected uh, your account for the blockchain interaction there. I've already added two accounts, one of the seller and a buyer and I'll be using them to demonstrate how we can mint, list and buy the NFTs within the marketplace itself within Bagisto. So here you can see that I've downloaded the uh, what we say as the MetaMask Chrome extension from the uh, Google Chrome section there and I have added two accounts here one is the seller account and one is the buyer account. So I'll be choosing the seller account there first and I'll be showing you how we can mint list and then using the buyer account I'll be showing you how we'll be able to buy the particular NFTs as well. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today for the NFT marketplace solution uh, that will convert your Bagista store into an NFT marketplace website, kindly do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So the very first thing that you need to do is after you install the Google Chrome extension for the uh, MetaMask you have to add your account there and you can find your Ethereum there as you can see here and from here you can uh, check the details of the different uh, transactions uh, that you have done for example you have sold it out or you have done any transaction uh, for creating a particular NFT product now within the Bagisto system here what you need to do is uh, you'll have this my wallet option right now you'll see that there are no options there so what we need to do is we need to connect uh, our metamask wallet here uh, with this particular section for that what you need to do is you need to tap here on the metamask tapping on the metamask will bring up this particular metamask notification section from where we'll be able to connect with the metamask so here we need to select the account that needs to be connected with the metamask there uh, so here i'll choose the seller account and i'll tap on the next button thereafter and then we'll tap here on the continue button thereafter now after we have connected there you'll see that we'll be able to see a edit profile page here so I had already connected it and I had filled up the details for the particular seller there for his profile there and here under the edit profile we have general media and social links under the general you'll see this uh, wallet address of the seller itself uh, the title of the seller page uh, the username as you can see the bio data or the description that is visible on the seller profile page under the media I have added the logo and the banner and under the social links I have added the social links for the particular uh, seller there and these would be visible on the seller profile so here we have a preview button to view the particular details on the preview section there so if I tap on the preview you can see that we are on the NFT profile uh, or the uh, name of the profile that I've set as my NFT profile title here's the background image uh, the profile icon this is the description that we have set up here uh, the same description of uh, the bio is visible here here are the social icons as you can see and here we have the collected items that have been created by the particular seller so the NFT uh, products that have been created by the seller would be listed here then we have the created ones under the created ones we'll find the ones created by the sellers and the ones that have been sold out to other buyers there and under activities we'll find the complete list of transactions like minted when we have minted a particular NFT when you have listed it uh, when we have done a sale for a particular one and apart from that you can see the NFT product name the price of the product in Ethereum uh, and you can see the from and to values so here you can see that the uh, landscape was initially owned by my NFT profile title so this was the name that I had given to the seller there and then it was sold out to this particular Ethereum wallet address that you can see here that's 3B49 and that was 43 minutes ago so if I want to check the transaction I can tap here on the transaction button and we can check the details of the transaction as you can see here we have a success uh, for this particular transaction and here is a transfer of the ether as you can see the values of the ether ethereum as well and the uh, value of the ethereum that was used the amount of the ethereum to be transferred to the recipient with the transaction there the transaction fee the gas price that is used uh, for uh, the miners there uh, so this is the transaction section that you can access through the profile page of the uh, seller there 
So under the collected, we have all of the uh, NFTs created by this particular seller. So this was uh, about the uh, particular profile page. Now, if I come back to the edit profile page here, you can see that we have my wallet. And uh, if I go to my wallet section, if I tap on the my wallet section, we have the edit profile and create NFT. So to create an NFT, what you can do is, so first of all, what we'll be doing is we'll be minting a particular NFT. For that, we'll tap here on the create NFT option. And that will bring up this particular section that you'll see to create a particular NFT. So we'll be minting the NFT initially. So for that, what we need to do is we need to provide an image, uh, an SKU for the uh, particular NFT that we are going to create, the name, short description, description, and we have to choose a particular category for the same. So let me go ahead and let me add one image for this particular NFT that we are going to create. So I'll choose a landscape image for this and I'll be uploading that up with this within this particular section here. So we have uploaded the image and here I'll be entering the details the rest of the details for the NFT there. So I'll set the SKU for the NFT. So I'll set it as uh, Sunrise. I'll set the name Sunrise Landscape. For now, I'll be choosing the same uh, description, short description, and for the long description as well, I'll be using the same thing. And then I'll be choosing the category for this NFT that we're going to mint. And then I'll tap here on the save button. Now, as soon as I've tapped on the save button, the image would be uh, uh, saved there. And uh, we'll see a pop-up in a while from now. It just takes a few minutes for the pop-up to appear. As you can see here on the right hand side, we have a pop-up now. And uh, what we need to do is we need to confirm the transaction from this particular section here from our wallet. So here you can see that uh, the estimated gas fees uh, applicable on this particular transaction that we are going to do for the minting of this NFT product. And then we'll tap here on the confirm button thereafter. Now after tapping on the confirm button, it will take uh, about a minute or so. Uh, for the transaction to complete and then you'll be able to see the transaction details as well So you can see if I tap here on this particular icon here on the ethereum uh, add-on that we have installed there uh, in the top for the metamask You can see that uh, we have one transaction in the pending state right now So it takes a few moments there for the transaction to complete. So let the transaction complete first and it depends upon the gas fee that we have uh, given. If we are given, if we have given a less gas fee, then the transaction time would be uh, very uh, high, and uh, high in the sense like if we have given the less transaction or the gas fee, uh, then it will take more time. If we have given more uh, or extra uh, gas amount there, then the transaction would be completed in a very quick manner there. So you can see that uh, it has been successfully minted and if I tap here on the top right hand corner on the uh, metamask icon there I can see that the in that the transaction has completed as you can see for the fifth ninth there and here now we'll be able to uh, list our particular NFT uh, product there to list it up I can set up the price of the product so I can set it as uh, 0.1 ethereum for example and after that to list it out I will have to tap here on the save button now at the time of tapping on the save button you can see that we'll be able to complete the listing to complete the listing you can see the price that you said is that is 4.1 ethereum there to complete the listing I'll tap here on the complete listing button thereafter and this would bring up this particular uh, what we say as the metamask chrome extension would be opened up and here you can see that we have to get give a few uh, gas fee exactly once again and here we also can see the admin amount that needs to be provided in the ethereum there uh, so 0 0.025 would be the admin commission there and here you can see that the maximum fee uh, that is to be applicable is uh, to be paid for the gas fee for this particular transaction there now i'll tap here on the confirm button thereafter now this would list the product and you can see that your listing should be confirmed on the blockchain uh, shortly i can check the transaction from this transaction hash that we can see here to the next to the processing button if i tap here i'll open that up in another window there uh, to check the uh, transaction whether it has happened or not you can see that the transaction is successful and uh, you can see the product would be listed here 
uh, under this particular section there uh, let me take you back uh, to the uh, particular section so now you can see that the particular nft uh, product has been listed here that's the sunrise landscape and it's for 0.1 Ethereum there uh, it's in stock and uh, it's the description short description there this is the long description that I have set up here you can see the created by it was created by my NFT profile uh, the owner there uh, so it was created by the name of the owner uh, name of the creator the name of the owner is also visible there like my NFT profile title here we have the NFT details like the contact address the token ID so this is the NFT uh, token ID uh, what we uh, what we uh, call as the uh, unique token ID this is a token standard and the blockchain that is used is ethereum blockchain so here you can see that this particular NFT product was minted initially by uh, uh, my NFT profile title two minutes ago it was listed for 0.1 ethereum by my NFT profile title himself one second ago so if I want to check the uh, transaction details I can tap here on the one second ago and I'll be redirected uh, to the ether scan page and on the ether scan page I can check the complete details like the status the timestamp from and to values of the wallets there the value the, tra the transaction fees that was applicable the gas price that was applicable on the same and much more so let me cancel that out so this was how we can basically list out the product now if I go to the profile page and if I refresh this particular page as I've refreshed for the my NFT profile so here you can find the yum yum images there and the sunrise landscape for 0.1 ethereum is also uh, visible there now if I go to the created ones under the created ones we will find three different ones uh, the landscape was basically purchased by some other uh, buyer there so let's uh, go back to the sunrise landscape and here you can see that here we have a buy now option now uh, for the customers there so now let's see how a customer would be able to make a purchase of this particular NFT product for that what I'll do is I'll be uh, doing one thing I'll be just changing the account here first so just give me a minute for that so actually as a bar we are able to see the buy now button and apart from that we can see we have a buy now and a sell button there uh, itself now uh, let me show you the buyer end now I'll be tapping here on the uh, metamask chrome extension there and uh, let it pop up and here I'll be choosing the thing as buyer now and I'll tap here on the connect button so now the buyer is connected as you can see and now you can see that the sell thing has gone away from this particular section and only the buy now option for the buyers is available there as you can see so now from here we can buy this particular NFT product by tapping on the buy now button and then tapping on the confirm checkout here we need to pay a uh, amount of 0.1 ethereum there so I'll just tap here on the uh, confirm checkout button and here we'll have to give a particular transaction fee for this and a particular amount for this particular uh, product that's for 0.1 ethereum there and then I'll be tapping here on the confirm button thereafter now it will take a few moments there for the transaction to complete the transaction is being uh, is in the processing state as you can see I can tap here on the uh, hash count under the transaction hash to check the details of this particular transaction so I'll open it up in another window in the meantime so here we are on the ether scan so you can see the status of this particular transaction is right now in pending state and uh, it will be uh, confirmed in a while from now so we'll have to wait uh, for a minute or so so if I go to the transaction section once again here on the ether scan you can see that the status is success now for this particular tra transaction and here you can see that the interacted with two details are visible here for each of the uh, wallet details there and here you can see that now the created by was by my uh, NFT profile title and now it's being owned by this particular address that you can see right now even here you can see that uh, the contract address was with different contact address and the token ID is 23 and now here you can see that the particular uh, product was minted by my NFT profile title nine minutes ago it was listed by my NFT profile title and then it there was a sale deed and it was sold by 
my NFT profile title to this particular one one seconds ago there. So this was the workflow there uh, of the NFT marketplace solution that basically converts your Bugisto store into an NFT marketplace website. And I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow there. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.